Hey, welcome back. So in the last episode, what we did was we created this really simple schedule in Microsoft Project. Um, one of the first things that you should do when you create your schedule is to set your baseline. And what that's gonna allow you to do, it's gonna take your activity IDs. Um, so what you're not seeing here, most people, uh, um, they use the row ID as the activity ID, and when they're referencing something, they say, hey, it's, it's act activity ID eight. That's actually not the case. Um, it, that, that's just the row number, and as you start adding and deleting activity, so say for instance, right now it's row 21 is foundations, but if I start adding activities, well now that becomes row 22. So you can't reference back in a future schedule if you've made changes and added and deleted rows. You can't say activity ID number 22 in a future update because that might be a different activity. So what's important to know in uh, Microsoft Project is there's a field called unique ID. And what happens when you create an activity, it's going to um, automatically assign a unique ID that stays with that activity for the life of the project. So if I delete that activity, that that ID gets removed. And, um, and, and so likewise, when we set our baseline schedule um, and we start updating it in, in future updates, it's always going to reference back that ID and it's going to like, so say for instance, right now we're scheduled to start roofing on 513. If I don't make progress and it's a future update and I want to know, hey, what, when was I supposed to uh, start roofing in my baseline schedule? Um, once I set my baseline, it's going to take all of these unique IDs and it's going to take all their start and finish dates and it's going to set those in place so that I can always reference them in a, in a future update. So that's a little bit about the baselining process, but how we actually go about doing that is we go to project up here and we can say set baseline. We're going to set our baseline right now. And uh, what you can do is you can just choose the baseline. There, there's 10 slots for the baseline. I think you can actually increase that um, over time if you need to. But right now, this is our first baseline. And so we're just going to set the baseline there. And I want to do the entire project, not just selected tasks. I want to do the whole project. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll set that. And what you'll notice, what you're not seeing here, is if I add a couple, um, let me hide these guys here. And there's, if I double click on the column, and I can come down here to baseline, and I can see baseline start, and I can choose another one for baseline finish. And you'll notice that, the, that these activity um, dates are the exact same as here. Um, because we just set the baseline. So say for instance, I looked at the baseline one uh, start date, you'll notice that there's none available because we haven't assigned a baseline to the baseline one slot, which I showed you up here. If we, if we set a new baseline, so say for instance, um, we go baseline one and we set that baseline, you'll notice the baseline one slot now gets taken up by the, the dates that we're showing right now. So if you want to view the baseline dates uh, in your Gantt chart over here, you want to see, you want to be able to compare, well, my, what's my current schedule compared to when this, this stuff should have been? Here, let me get my big face out of the way here. If you want to compare back to the baseline dates, what you do is you go right click and you can go show, hide, and you go baseline and we do our first saved one uh, because we just did that a second ago, but let's do our, our baseline. And you'll notice these gray bars all of a sudden appear underneath the, uh, the blue bars. And the gray bars represent our, our baseline dates here. And then our blue bars represent our start, start and finish dates here. So if I went ahead and this was like a, a schedule update that, was, that I was doing um, you know, the following month after the baseline was set and I say, hey, I wanna actually increase my review and approve roofing to uh, 50 days, holy cow. Um, you'll notice now that my blue bar increases, but the, the gray bar there stays the same. So I can reference back and see, oh, look at that. I was supposed to get it done here. Um, and I can actually even zoom in a little more on, uh, on that bar. So I was supposed to get it done here on this date. 
and instead I'm actually getting it done way later and that had a downstream effect to the next activity. So it's really important that you set your baseline dates um, at the very beginning of the schedule because that's going to allow you to analyze what uh, you know what changes have been made from uh, from the original baseline. So make sure once you create your schedule update or your, your baseline schedule set it set the baseline and then you want to um, reset the baseline to a new slot every time that you do a, a major schedule update. So what you'll do is you'll come back after you've done an update you'll set a new baseline and you'll choose one of the newer baseline slots uh, to to save your baseline to that because you don't want to overlap it on a previous one. You want to keep those dates and then um, uh, and and that way you can always reference back you know that that plan during that time period um, so you don't want to lose that data so hope that helps make sure you do it right after you create your baseline schedule and uh, yeah if you're looking for tutoring as always I do one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring you can reach out to me on my website at pjmss.com don't forget about the uh, comparison tools we work really hard to create the uh, schedule comparison tools for your benefit so uh, I hope you enjoy it. Check out the website and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.